Hey guys, welcome to the shop. So, you know, we haven't been doing a lot of chainsaw carving and tutorials and all that because I've just been working on a ton of projects. I'm gonna go over a few of those projects with you guys just to uh, give you a little bit of an update, but I hope you guys are all doing well, doing good. I hope you're practicing your bears. It is pumpkin time, so you should be carving up pumpkins, getting stocked together for that. You know, I wanted to do a video on some insight and some advice, but I don't even know what I wanna talk about. But I know it's Saturday. I want to get on here, just say, hey, hope you're all doing well, and uh, just kind of show you what I'm working on. So I've been working on that TV lift cabinet. It's pretty much done. I got a few things to finish up on it. It's in the house already. So I'm not going to go over that. You guys have kind of been seeing that build. If you follow me on social media, and if you guys have been following along in videos, you've kind of seen it over there being worked on and up on the bench. Now, today I have poured some epoxy and some molds got them in here i've got this piece of plastic up here so i don't get dust in them but they are in there drying and so i got to keep them in there like that covered because this shop shop's so clean you know dusty <laughs> um i am working on a lamp though another custom lamp this is going to be for that rustic furniture fair in blue mountain lake that's next weekend september 11th and 12th so if you're in upstate new york swing by i'll be there i'll have some pieces me and uh, my buddy Barry, and hopefully we'll be making some sales. So anyway, this is going to be uh, pieces for a lampshade. And what I'm going to do is turn this cool white birch tree into a lamp of some sort. You see this right here? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cut some angles in here and kind of make this thing kick back up and over so the lampshade will hang. We're just going to wrap the cord around the tree and down. Now we've got some really neat stuff going on right here. This is all epoxy with some rocks in it. There, maybe you guys can kind of see. It's going to be another cool piece. Hopefully we'll get it all done for the show. Should be pretty neat. Rocks and roots and whatnot. I've got a few things hidden in there too. So we show it show everybody and get talking about it there's some nails and some penny like in a penny and a couple little things you know it's kind of like an ice spy game customers like that kind of little detailed stuff and custom work um so i'm trying to get coasters and custom keychains done as just little sale items you know really neat stuff uh we got this lampshade a couple things on the tv lift cabinet i gotta get finished up well lamp shade and lamp um the heck else am i working on oh i got this big slab right here of butternut it's really nice it's not black walnut it's butternut it's a little bit lighter wood than black walnut and we're going to turn that into a coffee table along with this root base right here so i got this root base i'm going to turn that into a waterfall style coffee table so what that means is the board will come across and do a 90 degree down to the floor and then on the far end We'll have a uh, root base holding it up. And then if I still have time, because, you know, next weekend's the show and I've only got a few days, I will build a drawer for the middle of that coffee table. Now, the other project I've been working on is this stand. Now, this is the back of the stand. Let me see if I can get us over here. I got it outside because I've been spraying it with uh, some poly. So this is a root base table as well. All right, we got live edge cherry burl had a void up here filled that with epoxy i am waiting for uh rubio mono coat to come in the mail so i could do a nice coat of that here and on the back this cherry burl is just gorgeous we got two drawers cherry burl now the wood for the drawers and the casing is black walnut but i've put an early american stain on it because as you can see so this would have been darker walnut and this is the sapwood so all of this is the sapwood which means it's a really white light color and normally i don't do stain but it was such a light color that it just wasn't going to go with the piece so i put that early american on everything including the base no stain though on the burls accents they're all natural i know they're kind of tough to see in uh in the video just due to like the shadow and the shade but there you guys can kind of see, even though this isn't sanded well you can kind of see some of that uh natural color but when that piece is done i'll get a video of it just so you guys can see it now like i said i have literally just been 
uh, flat out. I haven't been able to chainsaw carve. I've just been working on projects because this is a furniture fair I've got coming up. So I need to have home decor furniture uh, sort of items. And so I can't really bring chainsaw carvings to this event. They've invited me to this event for my, my furniture. You know, being able to bring some coasters and little things, I can get away with that. The lamp that falls in the decor sort of stuff. But chainsaw carvings uh, don't necessarily, you know, fit. So, but I hope you guys are doing well. You know, if you guys want to share your work with me and with a group of people that are subscribed to the channel, you can go to Facebook, Kyle Hall Woodworker New Carvers. There's a few questions to join. Uh, it takes just a couple minutes to answer those questions and then I'll accept it and you'll be in and you guys can start sharing your chainsaw carvings with each other. I do jump in the group every once in a while, just when I have time, but I, I like the idea that uh, subscribers and new carvers here that follow me and learn from my channel are able to share their work with one another. You know, big, awesome thank you. We hit 10,000 subs. If you guys haven't checked it out, we got the 10,000 subscriber video that gives you guys the details on how to enter for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway that we'll be doing on the 18th. So you guys should really go check that out. See what you got to do to enter in that if you haven't already. Uh, we've been doing a lot of videos on how to sell your work as a new artist, where to sell, how to sell, how to deal with customers. And, you know, I was trying to think of a topic for today and I really just couldn't, uh, I don't know, I just really couldn't bring anything to mind so if there's something you guys want to have me talk about on that let me know here today and maybe I will go over it and put a video right up tonight or tomorrow morning and uh just kind of discuss it or maybe we'll just go live tomorrow and discuss it I don't know I got like I said I got a lot of work going and a lot of projects to try and complete in a very few days so let me know if you have questions you know about selling your work selling your art uh interacting with customers uh those sort of things that I haven't answered in the last few videos and I will try to probably just shoot a video tomorrow morning and have it up by the afternoon for you guys you know even this one's on my phone I didn't bother getting out the GoPros I just wanted to jump on and say hey hope you're all doing well also with hitting 10 subs 10,000 subscribers which thank you you guys are awesome and a big thank you to all 10 of my members that are currently joined uh they pay a monthly fee to be members to the channel some are at a specific tutorial tier some buy me a cup of coffee and some are just a big fan and so they want to help support the work that i'm doing here helping all of you and that is greatly appreciated it really is i really really do appreciate that you guys um if you want to become a member you guys can always hit that join button right next to where you hit subscribe and uh, see what it's all about also with hitting 10,000 subs i am able to have a merch shelf or a store button or below this video you might see merchandise so we're gonna start working on uh some designs some new stuff adding on there i had some old ones before that shelf you know started popping up and i had some samples i didn't like the way they came out so i deleted all those left the design that's currently there which is my youtube logo and uh we'll be we'll be working on some some chainsaw ones having some cool cool designs up for you guys so it's another way you can help support the channel and uh run some merch and show your support for the work we're doing together here on this channel right learning and growing and all that kind of good stuff so if not guys don't worry about it no big deal you know and uh yeah 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 i gotta get making some sawdust you know i gotta actually i gotta make some eggs i am starving i haven't even had breakfast yet a couple cups of coffee got right out here this morning Late nights and early mornings, that's what it's been, guys. Late nights and early mornings. It's usually when I am the most creative and I'm able to just hammer the workout. But it really uh, really takes a toll sometimes. <laughs> it's like I'm looking forward to this event, but I can't wait for it to be over so I could just kind of chill. It'll be a two-day event, and yeah, hopefully we don't bring anything home. That is the goal, to bring nothing back. So... Anyway, if you guys don't follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I got TikTok. You guys can find all those links below this video. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It really does. If you watch this video to this point, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow, helps get the video out there to more view viewers. It tells that YouTube algorithm, hey, this guy's worth watching and shares it with other people. So always do that, guys. It really, really does help, believe it or not. And again, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Comment below 
What do we need to discuss as new carvers, all right? Maybe we can just have another discussion tomorrow. Let me know so I can help you guys out. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys later.